she is the dance girl queen young and sweet only 23 anyway welcome back to my channel thank you so much for being here with me today my name is kate i'm a part-time reseller and obviously i find a lot of dance codes that's why i have named myself the dance go queen but in today's video i have a goodwill outlet bins haul i went today and it was great i brought my baby girl along with me i did find some great stuff so let's get into that I'll start off with these. These are a pair of dance goes. There's a little bit of wear, like a little scratch mark right there, but overall in pretty good condition. I used to never find dance goes. I actually have a vlog several videos ago where I said how I never find dance goes in good condition. And then all of a sudden I started finding dance goes at the Goodwill outlet and at thrift stores. So I don't know what's happening, but this one has nice arch support. It has this cool detailing, gives more of a bohemian look. Probably could get around 30 to 35 for these, I actually have a few other dance clothes listed that have a lot of attention but are not being snatched up. The next pair of shoes is a pair of Merrell, M-E-R-R-E-L-L, -L, and they're a Mary Jane style, really cute, a little bit of a heel. This is a great footwear outdoor brand, and these are in really good condition, very cute and feminine. I have a very similar pair from the brand Keen. These are made of leather nice shoe and these are a size nine so they're actually my size these are really cute oh and by the way from the goodwill outlet if you're not familiar you pay by the pound and it's around two dollars per pound i don't know exactly what it is for the salt lake city location which is where i live but i'm guessing those merrill shoes and those dance go shoes were probably two to three dollars this is a cape it's just from the brand spirit i could tell it was a costume just because of the material I think it's one size, yeah, one size fits most. It's like a little red riding hood velvet cape. It's long, it's very wide, and I had to have it. We already kind of decided what we're gonna be. I've been talking to my three-year-old daughter. She really wants to be a witch for Halloween, and I was gonna be a mummy, because I'm a mom, a mommy. But now I'm gonna be little red riding hood, or I'll just, you know, resell this or keep it for a future costume. I couldn't leave it behind because spirit costumes can be expensive. Okay, we have this thing next, which is Everlane. And I don't actually come across Everlane a whole ton. The last time I came across Everlane at the Goodwill outlet, it was a 100% cashmere tan sweater, which is already sold, of course. This is just a basic men's shirt button up 20 to 25 for that. I didn't want to leave it behind because Everlane is nice. That's a pretty basic piece, but it is a men's piece. And if you don't know, men's pieces tend to sell better. Okay, this is a bag of magnets, like someone's magnet collection they probably had on their fridge. And I'm going to be doing a whole short slash TikTok two-part series of this. So stay tuned for that on my channel because that's gonna be fun to go through. That probably costs like four-ish dollars. All right, next we have this, which I was debating about getting. It's from the brand Ralph Lauren Sport, size 14. I originally thought that it might be a kid size, but it, no, it's a woman's size. It's just a cute shirt. I would wear this if it was my size. It's preppy. I absolutely love it. So I had to get it for a dollar. All right, next we have these. They're very dirty. They're just a pair of shoes that I bought for my daughter. She's currently a size eight. These are a size nine with a little wipe off or a run through the washing machine. Actually, I might not do that. I think they're light up. Yep, they're light up. So they do light up. At least that one does. Those are for her when she grows into them. Kids shoes aren't that expensive, but I will take $2 shoes any day. All right, this is a book actually that I got at the very end of my trip. This is a Games, Giggles, and Giant steps book and I saw it and I thought immediately of my baby who was with me and it has a lot of songs you can do with them mother father has a headache traffic light so like different physical movement games that are good for learning and interaction and good for your child's brain development yeah larger than your thumb teaches body awareness. A lot of these I've never even heard, but I think these will be fun to do with my baby. Next we have this. This is the first time I've ever found a pair of LuLaRoe pants. LuLaRoe in their other clothing really isn't worth it, but this is a LuLaRoe size 30 elastic waistband pair of pants. They don't seem to have too much wear. They're gray, so I decided to get those. Next we have this. This is a cashmere piece but i think that it has shrunk it's a size extra large 100 percent cashmere luxury from charter club that doesn't look like an extra large to me i mean maybe maybe that is a extra large now that i'm holding it up to myself maybe that is 
an extra large, but I was going to put it with my other flawed cashmere piece and then eventually sell that cashmere bundle as a flawed cashmere bundle. But maybe this isn't flawed. Now that I'm holding it up to myself, I'm a size small medium and this looks like a large, but maybe it is an extra large. Just the sleeves seem small and I don't know if cashmere has much stretch. Next we have this. This is just from the brand Cabela's. Not really the reason I got it. The reason I bought this is that it is downfilled. It is a downfilled vest. And if you don't know, downfilled puffer coats and vests are very desirable, especially going into the fall and winter season. This does have some wear and some fading. So it's not going to go for a ton. I believe this is, I don't think it's paint. Maybe it is paint. I know, remember, I tried to get it out at the store, but maybe that is paint. Anyway, it's a size large and it has kind of a fleece inner, a nice sturdy outdoor jacket that really reminds me of something you could wear camping. This is from the brand Dolan and I think this is an anthropology brand. Pretty sure I saw the tag and it just seemed like a nicer brand. So I looked it up and Dolan has been sold at anthropology before. This is a size small and it's a one piece jumpsuit. It's really cute. Don't know how much I'll be able to get for this. This is a great back to school piece outfit. It zips up in the back. So I'm happy about that. Next, we have a silk piece. This is Champagne Internationals Express. Never heard of this brand. It's probably vintage. It's 100% silk size, large, and there is a small spot. I remember looking through this thing thoroughly and then I found a little spot I might be able to get off. Don't know what I could get for this. The selling factor was that it is silk. All right, this is also not to resell, but I guess I could, you know, like sell on Facebook Marketplace or something. This is from the brand Jerry Beck unmask the possibilities and it just says that it is a four tier flapper dress adult medium outfit so that's kind of cute it looks like it's a little sheer in the back i love this maybe i'll list it for like 25 dollars you know say halloween costume people are starting to look for halloween costumes now even though it's several months ahead halloween is already starting to come out in the stores and i'm getting excited for the fall down to the last of the first bag we have this is from divided which is an h m brand the more you resell, the more you know which brands are which. This is super cute. It is an oversized jacket, kind of shacket. I think it's so cute. I can't decide if I'm going to keep it or not. I don't think it retails for probably more than 50, but this is so cute. The color and everything, I really liked it, so I had to get it. All right, last thing in the bag is actually another thing for me. Love shopping at the Goodwill outlet to resell, but then surprisingly, finding little goodies for myself. This is from the brand Speckless or Speakless. It might be a vintage brand, looks maybe vintage. And I remember picking it up and putting it back down after I saw the tag. I was thinking, you know, oh, that could be something to resell. But then I took a second look at it and I thought, you know what, this is kind of cute. I don't know, I kind of dig it. This is something to resell. Getting back on track here. This is a woman's size 18 to 20. It's from the brand White Stag which I don't know if it's sold anymore. I've come across a lot of white stag pieces, but it is this maxi dress. I think it's made of 100% rayon. Let's see, yeah, 100% rayon, kind of slinky, stretchy with a tie waist in the back. Reminded me of whimsy goth, could even be fairy goth. I just think it's really, really pretty. And I love finding vintage dresses at the Goodwill outlet because even if I flip them into $20 on Poshmark, that's a great, great flip. All right, this bag, let's just see what's in it. I just always pick up these random stuff. Let's see, so this, I did not mean to buy this. My daughter, I gave it to my daughter, my baby girl, because she was starting to get upset and I thought, oh, she'll like that, it's a doll. I don't know who this is. It's a pop Funko, some sort of person. I have no idea. Anyway, if you know who that is, comment because I really, I do not know. I have no idea. I, must be a niche kind of character from something. And then this, we celebrated my daughter's birthday last night early because my family is going out of town. But this, I got to make her another cake and a cake for the family on her actual birthday, of course. Probably won't let her eat it because she had a lot of sugar. This is a great, in brand new condition, happy birthday cake pan. So that's great. Now I believe this last bag is all things to resell. So that's good. This was a style-based pickup. It's also from the brand White Stag. So the same brand as that dress I went over 
two items ago. It is a larger size. It is a size 22 to 24. And it is totally fairy core. I love it. It could be worn as a button up or a shawl. It is sheer and has this really pretty patterning. I've never seen something so pretty. I love vintage pieces. They just do not make clothing like they used to. I saw this and I was thinking to myself, J brand, J brand, do I know J brand? And I ended up looking up how much they sell for brand new and it was a lot. So I decided to just buy it and look it up later. I do believe that they resell okay-ish, but it is so hot in there. I, at the end, was trying to do some research, deciding what I wanted to put back, what I wanted to keep. And I decided, you know, I'm not going to do any further research on this, but this is J brand. It is black on black right there. So I don't even know I can see it. It's basically indented. It feels very quality. I believe it's a pair of women's straight leg dress pants. Let's see. J brand. It's the cane. K-A-N-E. So it's made of cotton, polyester, viscose, and elastane. It really feels high quality and nice. So excited about that piece. Here we have another cashmere piece, also from Charter Club. This is Charter Club 2-ply cashmere. So nice, super soft, perfect for this. Oh, you know what? I just, I just found a hole. One hole there, another hole there. That's completely fine. I will add it to my flawed cashmere bundle and eventually that'll be great. This is a piece for my older daughter. This is from the brand Old Navy. It's a size 4T. Looks like an older tag maybe, but maybe not. She's a currently a size 3T. This is a cute pair of tan overalls. And then I really like the design up the front. So eventually she'll fit into these and she'll look so cute. It wasn't an amazing bins day, but it was an okay-ish bins day. That, like I didn't leave feeling awful. Ideally, I want to go again to the bins on Friday evening when people are busy and it's not as crowded. This is from the brand Piranha, and it's a size extra small, so not the most ideal. It is a cardigan, very slinky, stretchy cardigan. I'm not sure what you would, if you would wear this outdoors. It's made of modal. Oh, it's made of modal. Modal is nice. People seek out modal. So that's, that's really great. Happy about that. Okay, I think this is another anthropology brand. Now every anthropology brand or any brand that's ever been sold to anthropology doesn't mean it's going to resell well. This seemed to have promise. It's from the brand Amadi right there. And it's a size small. It's a dolman sleeve, very wide, very oversized look. So I thought I would get that for the fall season we're going into. Here is another style based pickup. This is from the brand Lawrence Kazar, Paris, New York. And it's made of 100% silk on the outside. It's so pretty. It's beaded. It totally reminds me of fairy goth, vampire. I could even put costume in my style tags. And it has these whimsical boho sleeves. All this beading. It is so pretty. I had to get that. These are a pair of Harley Davidson, really good condition. There's a little dash mark right there, but these are really nice shoes. I believe these sell for 150 brand new, which is crazy. Looks like they're a size men's nine. And this one though, kind of got melted right there. It probably melted on one of the carts because it's so hot outside. Still, I feel like was worth picking up. And then the very last thing, from this Goodwill bins trip are these. These are a pair of Kizik's. Now, Kizik's are shoes that you can just push your feet into without having to use any hands, which is great if you're carrying children or you're pregnant or you're trying to rush out the door for work. And the brand looks like that. I didn't know they made Kizik's that look like Vans, but these are really nice. They're in excellent condition. Excellent, excellent. One of them had discoloration on the back. I think it's right here. But it's super light. I don't even know if you'll be able to see it on camera. I've never found Kizik out thrifting before. It is a newer shoe brand. That is the end of today's haul. I hope you like what I showed you. Wait a minute, you guys. Before I release this video and end it completely, this is another thing for my daughter. 3T. It's from the brand Nautical. It's pink. Perfect for the fall season we're going into. A lightweight jacket. That is officially everything. I will see you guys in the next video, hopefully. Bye.